Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, back with another part of Danganronpa, another episode, Trippa Ultra Spear Girls, and let's get started. Come on, if we go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. No, they won't. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out-of-control kids, right? And if it's for that cause... I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia too. Wow, you've changed quite a bit. No, she hasn't. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? It will be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are, but I'm still doing my best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> After all, we're... Friends. Don't say it's so weird. You look really scary when you say that. W what do you mean I'm scary? Fine. Be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! Oh. You fooled us. From the very beginning. It's no use acting like you don't know. I heard it all. <clears throat> Confess! You were lying to us the whole time. <laughs> hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you like's house. More than plenty, damn it! Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history! And this guy interfered! Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what, actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. What? <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Ooh. Ouch. Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Oh, she found out. Huh? Monica, what did you say? Ahem, like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. You're lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry, it's the truth. Lies? Why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. What's her plan? Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And, and that's why we caused this revolution, right? Sorry! Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. She only cares about the spare. What? Oh, I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. S stop kidding around, Monica! What the heck is this? Sorry. But this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Huh? 
successor. Yes, the second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Mayim is different from Mr. Servants. But we agreed to work together at the beginning, so don't get so jealous, Nagisa. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Right? For Monica's sake. Huh? What what's you gonna do? Whoa. Hmm. Whoa, what a kiss. <laughs> I totally stole Nagisa's first kiss. What, what are you doing? You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? Oh, she's nippling him. You love me so much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me, right? Oh, well, where is this going? Stop! Please, stop! You're glad you got to kiss Monica, right? If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? Don't come near me! Get away from me! You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! Oh. But Monica won't expect anything of you. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret, after all. You're just a weak... Weak little child. No one expects anything from. Ouch. I said get back! Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Don't come near me. Get back. Get back! Jeez, Monica. So vulgar as usual. Seriously. You hit a girl. How uncool, but Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. Oh, that's gotta hurt being called worthless. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's getting really perverted. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, you gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? For Monica's sake, kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? Hey, Toko. What? We've been walking around the sewer so long. Do you think it'll be okay? What do you mean? Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? I'm starting to worry I'll never get it off. Huh, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? No, it's just rude. Oh, the darkness is killing me. I'm sure you're fine with it, being a super girl. Now that's an insult I haven't heard before. this time right i think we're okay the problem is the adults i don't know if they'll even listen to us i'm sure it will be fine 
If we do our best to persuade them, I'm sure it'll work out. <laughs> the former you would have been sobbing and crying out, What? Toko, Toko! I don't talk like that! Well, even if you're bound to fail, I'll always proudly watch over you. Yeah, just having you here by my side is reassuring. You know I was being sarcastic, right? Ah, right. If you meant it as actual encouragement, then you're the one who's changed. That'd be no good. Having a dirty mouth and a heart of gold is, like, my thing. Uh, wait. Do you hear that? What? Sc screams? What's happening? Toko, hurry! The children are gathering. What's going on? A massacre. I have a bad feeling about this. Go. Kamaru, Toko, please save everyone. I know. I'm going to do my best this time. Here, have a haircut. Let's take them all out. Okay, three down.
Take the spirit bomb. Oh, just one? Okay, I have another haircut. How many are there? There's so many kill. The Monokumas. They're not coming in from where we did. there Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Finally! Looks like... it's all... over. <laughs> You're right. No, not yet. They want to destroy us all. They won't stop after this. They never will. Never? I'm just so tired, I don't know if I can keep up anymore. Um, I have a little proposition for you. Will you hear me out? Sure, what is it? What kind of proposition? The enemies aren't attacking from the front, but from the hole at the back of the base. To hold out against the enemy attack, we have to find some way to block the hole. Locks a hole, but how? To tell you the truth, high explosives are packed inside my body in case of emergency. Oh. You mean in a suicide attack? But my self destruct button was damaged in battle. I can't do it on my own. Oh no, he's gonna die. She's it's gonna die. So there's no choice but to ask you to do it. You. You want Kamaru to shoot you so you explode? N no, I can't do it. But this is the only way to save everyone. I'm scared too, but it will be all right. It feels strange, but thinking about saving everyone gives me courage. Maybe that's not saying much. 
coming from an AI inside a Monokuma. But it's the truth. And if it's for everyone's lives, then I'm not scared at all. So, but, but... Bad news. The Monokumas are coming through the hole in the back again. I beg you, please, take me to the hole and let me save everyone. Let's go. Kamaru, Toko, I leave the rest to you. So it's this way. Wait, what? Sure you said so. Kamaru, now's your chance. Shoot me. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do it. You must. Kamaru, no matter how scared you are, there are times that you have to fight. There are times you need to stand up. Times you can't be afraid of death. Do it before we lose something important. Sure, Kuma. But if you still think you can't... Whoa. I don't get it, I'm trying. Shirakuma.
He just want. He just wanted to help everyone. Help everyone. Huh? Oh, what just? Please tell me, Master Biakia. So you're awake. You guys lost consciousness after the explosion. Where's Shirokuma? What happened to him? You killed him. Thanks to Shirokuma, the hole was blocked. His sacrifice saved us all. Sacrifice? And that means... All I need is the CO2 that Master exhaled. I, I can live on just that. Not now. Not now, Toko. Jeez, wake up already! I know AIs typically sacrifice themselves in situations like this, but I didn't think... To break out of jail and come back here. <laughs> you have some courage. You? But we're the ones who saved you. You should be thanking us. Well, most of the thanks goes to Shirokuma, though I am willing to acknowledge that you're not spies. Th that's it? That's all you'll acknowledge? Now's not the time for this kind of argument. But thanks to Shiokuma, we're out of danger, for now. The problem's far from solved. What's going on? The hold those brats opened is closed now, but we have Monokumas at the front entrance. We can hold them off for a little while, but if this keeps up... So we're running out of time. Damn it. Do they really intend to destroy this base at any cost? So what are you gonna do? You gonna wait for an opportunity? As usual. Haiji, if we don't do something now, we... I know. I know. No matter how scared you are, there are times when you have to fight. Huh. There are times when you need to stand up and not be afraid of death. We have to do something before we lose something important. Toko, lend me your hand. Huh? Uh, okay. I said I'd lend you a hand, not be your stepladder. Sorry. Hey, what are you doing? have any talent I'm just a normal girl not special or anything a and I know you guys don't have any reason to listen to someone like me but but well uh, how do I put it there's something I want to say B because I'm a normal human with no talent um uh, I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how to put it. Hey, Kamaru! Keep trying, Kamaru. Toko, what do I do? Don't Why ask... are you asking me? You didn't plan this out? Don't ask her for everything. Then what are you up there for? Yeah, I... I don't really know. For now, let me just say this. I'm with you, so do your best. Toko... Yeah. I... I'm just like everyone here. I got caught up in something I didn't understand at all, and... I couldn't do anything. S so I... I guess I'll just say to you... What I wish I said to myself. Hey! How much longer are you going to be just another victim? Huh? You're normal! You're weak! How much longer are you going to use those damn excuses? You're just happy to be a victim and ignore everything around you! Are you really okay with that, you coward? Talent or whatever, that doesn't even matter! No matter how much talent or power you have, you can't avoid being scared or hurt! But that's what Toko was saying all along, you guys just got... And you got angry at her before for that, what? 
That's what Toko was saying all along. You let everyone else handle things that scare you and say, I can't help it, I'm normal. Are you really gonna stay that way forever? Maybe you can't help being normal. But you can't just keep using that as an excuse. If you do, if you do, someday, you're gonna lose something that's important to you, you know? And after that, it'll be too late. It's obvious that we're all afraid. I'm just as scared as you are, but even though I'm afraid, I know I made the right decision. To stay here with Toko, because if I just went and left her, I think I would have regretted it. Kamaru? I, along with Toko and everyone here, want a happy ending. A proper happy ending. That's super cliche and predictable, where everyone's smiling. So please, please, let's make that ending happen. Let's stand up against this despair together. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. Sorry for being so loud. Well, <laughs> feel stupid now. You just got told by a normal high school chick. Yeah. Wait here. I'm going to make some preparations. Preparations? For what? Well, I have a trump card. And I might as well bet the house on it. A trump, a trump card? Trump card. Oh, Togo. I feel like one of those lame kids who try to motivate everyone and fail completely. You did your best. Eh, it was good enough. Not bad for your first try. Hell, I even feel a little... impressed. Really? Though, it was painful to listen to. So it was awful! But, it looks like you were able to motivate the cowards here a little bit. You inspired me. I never expected you to start a speech like that. Oh, I'm sure I'll try to forget this ever happened later. But, you know, you might be right after all. Huh? Oh, wait, hold on. What's that you're holding? What, this? It's Shirakuma, of course. Kamaru and Toko, thank you for earlier. And your speech just now was splendid, too. Shirakuma, you're alive? The only thing left is my head, but my AI chip is in there, safe and sound. It's a miracle. That's good. <laughs> it's not exactly a triumphant resurrection. But here I am, nonetheless. I heard you sacrificed yourself. So I thought, well, that was pretty misleading. Well, he did sacrifice his body. But I'm relieved. If you're alive, then everything's fine. Uh, looks like you made that traumatizing speech for nothing. Then. Was it that bad? No, no, it was great. I feel like you gave everyone a little light of hope, but it's still a small light. In order to make it grow, we need to do something more. Hey, the preparation's done. We gotta hurry and get out of here. Get out of here? Huh. Looks like he's finally gonna start fighting back. Is it true, Haiji? That's all thanks to you, Shirokuma. You risked your life for us. I finally realized what I need to do. So thanks, Bear. Huh. Haiji? Looks like your speech wasn't that memorable. Uh, don't see that. From here on, I want you two to follow me to a certain place. It's where our game-changing trump card is hidden. But it's not gonna be easy. You guys better prepare yourselves. Alright. Well, I guess I hardly have to tell you that. I'll be waiting for you at the entrance. Go up here. A 
Almost there. All right, let's go. Well, looks like the Monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. Um, where are we going? Didn't I tell you? The place where our trump card is hidden. And just what the hell is this trump card? And why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm not trying to be cryptic. It's just hard to explain in words. It's much easier if you see it with your own eyes. Then you'll understand, I promise. Jeez, you sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s. Anyway, it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse. If there's one thing I know for sure. This is our last shot. Does something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic bastard. However, getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. Me and Four Eyes will go in the back. It'll be cramped, but you'll have to deal with it for now. What is he giving her? What do you mean, leave it to me? Listen, it's important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. That's not an explanation. Didn't he just say not to freak out? I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Wait! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet! Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Look at Toko. She's like, uh. <laughs> I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun. Why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license. Wow, she doesn't? I can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are going to pull us over or something. Y you're right, but. Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. All right, we're here. We are? Where are we? Are you taking us to a secluded spot to, to do stuff with us? No. If that's your plan, hurry up and get it over <gasps> with. I won't resist. What are you thinking? Um, no, that's not what I was thinking <laughs> at all. Especially not with you. I, uh, I like him younger. As young as possible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Actually, can I leave now? Anyway, it's time. Careful of where you stand. If you talk, you might bite your tongue. Is this an elevator? You'd never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Secret factory? This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. you already it's our last hope and it's deep inside this factory however we do have a bit of a problem why is it it's the reason i was hesitant to come here in the first place what just say it in order to deter intruders and thieves our family uses monokumas to guard the area monokumas ever since the riot we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them to what I can guess, the Monokumas here had the control functions broken. Bet they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Okay, just wait. 
Slow down a sec. Why are the Monokumas here in the first place? Didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction. But you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. Y you... you're being awfully suspicious. Yeah, probably. I even think so myself. But for now, will you please trust me? I'm begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm not just going to abandon the hope that's in here. I took your words to heart. But I need to fight back. No giving up. Hi, G. Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. If he does anything I don't like along the way, I'm turning around and leaving. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the bottom floor. All right, let's go. the lasers the alarm goes off you should have said that earlier oh no too many makumas defeat the siren monokuma or else he'll just keep coming Wait. Oh, great. What? Be careful. Don't get caught in the lasers, okay? All right. Oh, trust me. I know. What? They found us again! Come <laughs> on. 
No good. It's locked. We gotta shut off the alarm first. You aren't doing it on purpose, are you? Because that would no, I'm not. seriously piss me off. when someone steps on the switch. All right, four eyes, step on the switch. Then Kamaru and I can go through. That would leave me behind. <laughs> Damn, here they come. We gotta run for now. Okay. Let's go over here quickly. Kidding me. Again? Gotta be kidding me. What the hell? Impossible. Is this factory making some kind of machine? Looks like it. I 
didn't even give me a chance. Touch me this time around. Let's just go. Let's save. Go up here. Hmm. Another game corner here. Nothing's going to happen unless you open the door with the switch. Go around here. Whoa. All right, let's use the elevator to go down.
what's wrong? Don't you think this is strange? It's just like I thought. This place is fishy. Monokuma's guarding the place. What they're making at this factory? Hey, what's the deal? The adults are all waiting for us back at base. Let's hurry up and get the trump card. I can finally show them hope. Toko, what do you think? We've come this far. There's no choice but to go for it. I'll be the judge of this hope. Oh no, I wasted it. Go down there. Let's go this way. They found us. Break the siren monokuma up there. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. Mm, let's try using a normal Monokuma.
Galloway. Okay, let's go here. Let's go in this direction. Break no, no, us. no. Break the siren monokuma up there. What? Finally. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry. I'll make sure they don't touch me this. It's that arcade machine again. It looks complicated, but if you do it just right, you can wipe out all of them at once. I need paralyzed. Please give me paralyzed.
Let's take the elevator down. We're so close. Another floor? What? What should we do? We can't move the elevator like this. Don't worry. If you input the password in the management room, the lasers will shut off. The management room is at the back of the conveyor. We should go there first. Just a bit more. If we can get to that elevator, we can get to the deepest area. Once we're there, the trump card is ours. Jeez, this sucks. I'm starting to wish I just left. It's just like I thought. I have seen these things before. Why is something like this being made at a Toa facility? Maka Maka Ma hurry. Just like I thought. What? You expected this? Explain! This guy wasn't killed by a kid. He was killed by a guard Monokuma that went haywire. This is a problem. He's the only one who knows the password to turn off the lasers. Then what are we gonna do? We gotta find that password somehow. I'm sure there's a clue or something in here. We can't just give up. Oh, come on, don't start complaining. Let's just do this. If we input the laptop's password, the lasers should turn off. Check this place from top to bottom. Then we'll find it for sure. Hey. With the password, you're okay. <laughs> What's going on? I don't really expect a pun like you to come up by, with a bright idea, but thanks anyway. It says password is my son's birthday. What's going on? Why well, actually writing down a password like this? How technology impaired are you? Should I use this to log into some shady mail order website? <laughs> Toka, why do you know about shady mail order websites? Don't huh? mess with me! Shut up, it's not important right now. <laughs> and we gotta get the password if we can figure out his son's birthday, right? So cruel. It's far too cruel. This is the worst. The fact that I'm starting to get used to this kind of thing disgusts me. I mean, you kill people all the time, didn't you, before? How was this? The third Saturday is my son's birthday this year. I can't wait to spend time together. Pass written in the, stain, in the blood stain notebook. The third Saturday is my son's birthday this year. Can't wait to spend time together. You see my son and wife, my wife smile in my mind. What should I buy them for a present? Um, I wonder if he's able to spend time with his son on his birthday. Anyways. No time for tears right now. So this ring on the bloody photograph. Happy birthday, 698. 
So cruel. With the blood on it, it doesn't feel like a happy birthday picture at all. Hmm. Research for everything that looks interesting, right? You're right. Should we figure out the, the son's birthday from all the information we got? Um. Um, his birthday is third Saturday, with the number six nine eight on the photo. That's not enough info at all. You're kidding me, right? I don't give up now. <laughs> Can't think of anything yet, but talk to me later. I think of something. Happy birthday, His birthday is the third Saturday. That narrows it down a little, right? Like the first day of the month can never be a third Saturday, right? You're right. Right, the first can only be in the first week of any month. Then third Saturday, that could that could be with Toko from what day to what day would it be? This is not funny at all. Don't ask me, I'm liberal arts to the core. What? I think, why is there a star around the 69 in the photo? Graph. Maybe you should think of it as something other than just number. Hmm? Not a number. Hey. Pick out the range for third Saturday. The third Saturday should be between the 15th and the 21st for any month. Amazing! Which means problem solved by just input seven days of work of each seven days worth of each month. That's not it. Wait, are you seriously gonna stand there and try for 84 combinations? Think about a long number on the photograph, then you should get the password. Hey. Maybe, maybe 6 9 is actually a sign of cancer. I see. What? It does kinda look like if you look does kinda look like if you turn it sideways. Hmm? Sign of cancer. <laughs> it's a thing used in horoscopes. Think about it that way, star death makes make then the star makes sense. It's definitely cancer sign. Hmm. So eight is August? You're kidding me, right? Early high school student? Cancer is from six twenty two to seven twenty two. You're right. Meaning the eight has to be, meaning the eight has to be a date. That would make the most sense. Um, Either eighteenth to eighteenth, the eighth, eighteenth, or the twenty-eighth. Let's see. Think of that and the third Saturday. That should give you the answer. Huh? The third Saturday. <laughs> you already forgot. Third Saturday is between the fifteenth and the twenty-first of that month. <laughs> right now, you know the answer. Okay, there, guys. Eighteen sixty-nine. What? <laughs> Wrong. 
Looks like you can't just throw in half-assed guesses. Fine, I give up. What? Let's see. Sleep by the sun's birthday, summarize everything we learned. Breakfast on third Saturday under the science cancer. All good so far? But... Yeah, but I can't figure out anything else. Hey. Think about it like this. Regardless of the month, the birthday has to be between 15th and 21st. It's got between 6.22 and 7.22. <laughs> if you reveal both appointments, it's sometime between 7.15 and 7.21, so 7 days. I see. And those 7 days, correct date has negative on it. Um... So that means 7, 18? Let's see. Yeah, I think it's it. It's gotta be corrective answers 0, 07, 8. Oh, come on. Like I said. Hurry and put it so we can get out of this room. I thought we had that, had that. I thought it was a year or two. We had to put the year in. Oh, great. Now we can get to the deepest part. I knew I could trust you guys. You sure talk big. You couldn't even look us in the eye a while ago. N no, no. Actually, going to save here. So this is where I'm going to stop off for now. Thanks for watching this part of Dangle Ropa, another episode, Ultra Spirit Girls. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.